Hey guys, Luke here. I'm here to do a video talking about Cameron Smith possibly playing halfback for the Melbourne Storm in 2020. Now, not that long ago, there was a lot of talk about whether Cameron Smith was actually even going to play in 2020, uh, let alone play halfback. However, with some of the developments lately, uh, I mean, I could have done a video talking about a lot of rumors that are happening recently, uh, but at the moment, I'm just going to talk about the Cameron Smith one because there's actually a few things going on. So, uh, the first rumor that was going around was that Curtis Scott is about to be announced to sign with the Raiders. For that, I think it's a pretty good signing for the Raiders. I think he's a lot more consistent than, say, Leilua. I think he'll work well on that side as well. Uh, however, that leaves an opening in the centers. They've just got rid of Will Chambers, so they have two center spots open. They also have Jerome Hughes, who's playing halfback at the moment, who... He's not a halfback, essentially. Uh, he's played halfback. He's been okay. He's been serviceable. But I think he's only been serviceable because of the team around him. Because he's got Cameron Munster as the 5'8". Because he's got Cameron Smith as the hooker. I just don't think he's a halfback. However, he's been doing an okay job there. But I think that's something that uh, the Storm team has definitely lacked in the last few seasons. Since Cooper Cronk's left, really, they haven't been able to find a consistent halfback. They've been swapping and changing between Brody Croft and uh, Jerome Hughes. And I think even uh, Riley Jacks played a little bit there. But nobody has been solid at the halfback position. They've just been looking for someone. Now, Pappenhausen, and I think he secured the fullback position. There is a center position open. Jerome Hughes is apparently going to shift into the centers, leaving the hooker position. Oh, sorry, we're leaving the halfback position open, which Cameron Smith is apparently going to move into that halfback position. And then uh, Brandon Smith, who has long been, long been touted as the replacement for Cameron Smith, He's a fine player, definitely a great player. Has been doing a great job off the bench last year. Has really played a, a great number of time uh, at hooker. So I don't know, how's he even going to go at hooker? Who knows? He's been playing lock. He's definitely a good lock, that's for sure. He's kind of like Radley. Uh, hasn't really had to play at hooker. He's main position too much, but he's found himself in the back row and has done a fine job. But I think Brandon Smith should be out of cutter. I think he'll at least be a serviceable uh, NRL hooker uh, with the potential to be a great hooker. Uh, and Cameron Smith... I think for the last however many years, 10, how, how long has his career been? I don't know, 30 years. Uh, Cameron Smith has always been said to be like the brains behind the storm. He's always sort of been the halfback from hooker. He's controlled everything. And this is the real test for him if he does move to the halfback position. Now, I think I think a few years ago, he actually did play halfback for a few games when Storm were kind of struggling a little bit. There were injuries. Um, I think Ryan Hinchcliffe might have played hooker and then he played halfback. And I think he did an okay job. Don't remember him being like outstanding or anything, but he definitely showed he can do a job there. Um, the problem is a whole season there. I mean, he's, he's older. He's uh, going to be getting a lot more hits, you would think. Um, a lot more impact on the body. Also, it's a big move for potentially his last season in the NRL, moving him from a position he's played his whole career, essentially, uh, in the NRL at least, uh, and moving him into the halfback position, a higher pressure position. Now, we know pressure isn't a problem for Cameron Smith. He's obviously, he's done it all in the game. He's captain, Queensland, Australia, Storm, he's won premierships, won Origin Series. Uh, he's done everything, won World Cups. The pressure's not going to get to him. It shows him also the fact that you throw in and a guy hasn't really played too much hooker uh, in the NRL in Brandon Smith there. And I, I don't have any doubts Brandon Smith can do a job there. It's just a matter of Jerome Hughes moving to center. He's never really played center. Uh, you have Cameron Smith in the last year of his career moving to halfback. He's going to have a lot of pressure on him in the sense that throughout his whole career, it was always like, you know, Cooper Cronk's good, but he's had Cameron Smith there. And then Cooper Cronk's moved to the Roosters and he's won premierships in a great team nonetheless, but... Still, he's won two premierships in a row. Uh, well, he's won three premierships in a row, including the Storm. Uh, but the halfback position definitely been a problem for Melbourne. Now, if Karen Smith goes into that halfback position and they don't have this fantastic season, I mean, they didn't win the premiership the last few years, but they made the grand final uh, in 2018. In 2019, they won a minor premiership. So they definitely didn't have a bad season, maybe a bad finish to the year, but they had a very good season overall. But if they go into this season, which is a big possibility considering... They're losing two centers, two star centers, um, and two experienced sort of players as well. I think it's going to be a, a big move for the Storm, um, and a big move for Cameron Smith too. You don't want to ruin his reputation. I know it's going to be very hard to ruin his reputation. I mean, I think he's a guaranteed future immortal, whether he's the next one, who knows. But I think Cameron Smith is definitely going to be an immortal at some point. I know a lot of the talk is, oh, is Cooper Cronk going to be a immortal? Is Billy Slater going to be an immortal? I think out of those three, uh, Cameron Smith is your best bet. However, if he goes into this halfback position and they don't have a good season or he gets an injury and shits the bed, I feel like there will be a lot of uh, a lot of talk. Like it will kind of tarnish 
tarnish it a little bit, maybe ruin his last season at least. And I don't know, I'd hate to see Cameron Smith um, get halfway through the season and go, shit, should have retired last year. Uh, we saw it kind of happen with Jonathan Thurston. He played on that extra year, came back from the injury, but he wasn't really the same. And uh, halfway through the season, Cowboys were going terrible. And we're thinking, man, maybe Thurston's, you know, he's played he's played a season too long. I don't want that to happen to Cameron Smith. It was kind of sad seeing it happen to Thurston. Even Greg Inglis in that uh, in the last few, few seasons were a bit, a bit downhill. I know he played pretty well in Origin, but Rabideau's form, he was constantly injured and stuff. Cameron Smith's never really been injured. I'd hate for him to go into this last season, maybe get a few injuries, try and play halfback, then not do so well. And then have all the talk be like, see, he never really was the brains. He can't even play halfback because that was all the talk. He was the halfback without playing halfback. And yeah, for him to go into the last season, if it didn't work out, for it to sort of tarnish all that, it would it'd be annoying to me. Uh, it'd be disappointing. But I actually think if he goes into the halfback position, it'd be a very good move for the Storm. In terms of the actual team as a whole, I think it's the best possible move they can do with the roster that they've got. Uh, especially considering Brandon Smith, I think he's ready to take over the hook position. Cameron Smith can help him with that hooker position while still being there. And also, I think Cameron Smith is more than capable of playing the halfback position and uh, doing a serviceable job there. Billy B as good uh, as he is at hooker? Probably not. I mean, he's a bit older now, but I still think he'll do a good job. Yeah, and Cameron Munster there. Cameron Munster can do all the flashy stuff. Cameron Smith can direct them around just like he did at hooker. And, yeah, I think the Storm will still have a pretty good season. Every year, I think the Storm, I, I go, yeah, they're going to drop out of the eight this year. And it just never happens. So, yeah, I think the Storm, no matter where Cameron Smith ends up, I think as long as he's on the field, they'll be in the eight. They'll be up there. They'll be competing for the premiership. But, uh, yeah, him at, uh, at halfback, I think it's definitely an interesting prospect. Um, it's something that a few years ago it had been talked about a little bit, like, oh, he should play halfback, and it never happened. Um... I'm, I'm just, I just want to see how it goes. Even if it's just for a few rounds, I'd love to see Cameron Smith in the number seven and Brandon Smith in at hooker. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, guys. What do you think of this move? Do you think it's a good move for the Storm? Do you think it's a good move for Cameron Smith and his career? Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, guys, uh, just a one take uh, for this video. Wasn't sure I was going to be able to do it, but there you go. I've got everything I wanted to uh, get across in the video. Essentially, Cameron Smith, great player, can do it. Is it the best for the Storm? I think so. Let me know if you agree. Right there, guys. Uh, if you did happen to enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke on my T. Apologies for the lighting and the setting and the background and all that stuff. I've got a blackout once again. Uh, a power outage. I knew it was happening. Uh, but I need to get this video out. So this is the best I can do, guys. Hopefully, you don't mind. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to end the video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content on the channel. I'm going to be producing a lot of content in the 2019 off-season or 2020 pre-season, whatever you want. Uh, well, there you go. Uh, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.